Welcome to Canvas Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we will give you an overview of the new Assisted Quilt Assembly tool that was added to Fidelity Pointwise 2023.1. Assisted Quilt Assembly provides more streamlined tools for updating your quilting topology as compared with Assemble Quilts. Upon entering Assisted Quilt Assembly, the quilt boundaries are automatically classified similar to the boundary classification in Automatic Surface Mesh and candidate groups of quilts to be assembled are created using a flood fill technique. Unlike many other tasks in Fidelity Pointwise, both tabs of Assisted Quilt Assembly are actionable, providing two different workflows for using Assisted Quilt Assembly. Either explicitly form groups of quilts to be assembled using the Groups tab, or reclassify quilt boundaries using the Boundaries tab. Actions performed on either tab affect the other, and for most complex geometries, Efficient quilting will use both workflows interchangeably. The general workflow for quilting via Assisted Quilt Assembly is as follows. First, review the quilt groups that were automatically formed. This can be done in several ways, using the table at the top of the Groups tab, which contains all groups and provides several metrics that are useful for determining whether or not a group needs manual intervention, using the Metrics table at the bottom of the Groups tab, which allows you to highlight groups that violate a given threshold for the metrics, and finally, using the display window, where adjacent quilt groups are rendered in different colors. Next, make modifications to the quilt groups that are not satisfactory using either the tools on the groups tab or the tools on the boundaries tab. It is recommended to go ahead and lock quilt groups as soon as you are satisfied with their definition. Locking a group ensures that subsequent actions cannot make changes to that group, and only locked groups will be assembled upon exiting assisted quilt assembly. Finally, once a quilt group is locked, you can edit the name of the group, and this name will become the name of the quilt after assembly. We will go over using the tables and visual cues for reviewing quilt groups in this video, and the workflows for locking and modifying quilt groups on both tabs in separate videos. Here we have the DLR F6 geometry from the AIAA's second drag projection workshop. Let's select the model and go to Create Assisted Quilt Assembly. We can see in the Quilt Groups table that Assisted Quilt Assembly has automatically created quilt groups for us based on hard edge angle and curvature ratio. These settings are editable on the Boundaries tab, and we will go over them more in that video. The table is sortable by any of its columns. The first column shows whether or not a group is locked using these lock icons. Next are columns displaying the group ID, the number of quilts in the group, and the group name. The default name is just the name of the oldest quilt in the group, but this is editable once the group is locked. Finally, we have the metrics columns, which can help you determine if manual intervention is required. The number branches column reports the number of branch cuts contained in the quilt group. Branch cuts are usually the result of one or more quilt boundaries being classified incorrectly using the automatic settings. These can be remedied using the boundaries tab and will be covered in that video. Area ratio shows the maximum ratio between the areas of adjacent groups. For an external arrow case like this, there will almost always be a large area ratio between the fuselage and the wing trailing edge, so this is not too worrisome. However, highlighting the fuselage group in the display window, we can see that it does have some bleed over onto the underside of the wing that needs to be addressed. And finally, the area column reports the total area of the quilt group. It is a good idea to look at the smallest quilt groups and ensure that you don't have any sliver quilts. The area ratio and branch cuts metrics are also shown in the metrics frame at the bottom of the panel. You can check the show column to highlight groups that exceed the threshold, edit the threshold, and there are even right click options to zoom and highlight. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.